Speculation is mounting regarding Algeria as the first international customer for Russia's Su-57E stealth fighter. The announcement by Russia's state defense agency, Rosoboran Export, during the 2024 Airshow China in Zhuhai has sparked widespread interest. While the agency confirmed securing an international buyer for its fifth-generation fighter, it has yet to reveal the client's identity. Algeria's historical military ties with Russia and its focus on modernizing its air force make it a likely contender. Algeria has been a prominent customer of Russian defense systems, consistently investing in advanced technologies to maintain its strategic position in North Africa. Its air force already operates Russian-made aircraft, including the Su-30MKA, MiG-29, and Su-24. This well-established relationship aligns with Russia's strategy of introducing the Su-57E to trusted international partners. Over the past decade, Algeria has strengthened its defense partnership with Russia, acquiring state-of-the-art platforms such as the Su-30MKA and MiG-29M-M2 fighters and modernized T-90S tanks. Algeria also secured advanced air defense systems like the S-300 PMU-2 and S-400 Triumph, reinforcing its reliance on Russian expertise to counter NATO-supplied assets in the region. This partnership is further deepened through joint training programs and technical cooperation. Algerian military personnel regularly train in Russian academies, gaining expertise in operating advanced systems like the Iskander ballistic missiles. These collaborations underscore the mutual trust between the two nations, paving the way for potential acquisitions of cutting-edge technologies like the Su-57E. The Su-57, Russia's first operational fifth-generation fighter, is a technological marvel. Designed with stealth features, advanced avionics, and multi-role capabilities, it offers agility and superior performance. Its radar-evading airframe, supercruise capabilities, and networked sensors make it a formidable addition to any air force. Equipped with internal weapons bays for stealth, the fighter can carry a mix of advanced munitions, including K-77-meter air-to-air missiles and KH-59 Mk-2 precision-guided weapons. Operationally, the Su-57 has proven its worth in conflict zones like Syria and Ukraine, showcasing its precision strike capabilities and advanced electronic warfare systems. These deployments have refined the aircraft's design and enhanced its appeal to international buyers. Reports of Algeria's interest in the Su-57 date back to 2019 with sources suggesting plans to procure at least 14 units. Algeria's 2021-2027 defense modernization plan further hints at allocating funds for fifth-generation fighters, aligning with Rosoboran Export's recent announcement. Deliveries of the Sub-57E could begin as early as 2025, potentially making Algeria the first international operator of the aircraft. This acquisition would have significant implications. For Algeria, the Su-57E would counterbalance Morocco's procurement of advanced F-16C divided by D-Block 72 fighters from the U.S., ensuring Algeria's air superiority and reinforcing its dominance in North Africa. Regionally, it would escalate the arms race between the two North African rivals. Globally, the deal would mark a milestone for Russia's defense industry, solidifying the Su-57's reputation and appeal in the international arms market. However, it could also strain relations with NATO given Algeria's proximity to Europe and alignment with Moscow. Although Rosoboran Export has not officially named the buyer, all indications suggest Algeria is the likely candidate. If confirmed, this purchase would underline Algeria's strategic ambitions and cement its status as a leading military power in North Africa.